Fantastic. Well, we want to get back into some more music, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. I know your fingers are warm. I know you're ready to go into something else. Well, uh, you, you told me about another song, what, Our God is Awesome? Yeah, we can play. You told me about that. Our God is yeah. Awesome? So, you know, before we start that, sure. a lot of people are saying, can we play Total Praise? Yeah. Go into it. That's I got fine. it. I like that song. Total too. Praise? Oh, y'all can see Sean. Y'all, y'all just. Richard Small. Yeah, y'all play that. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't mean to mess up the group. No, no you did. No, no, no. No, 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 no. People, I, I'm, I'm watching. This, this Facebook Live, man. We, we can go in live. What you want to go into? Okay, you start. So in this song, you would typically start with, with the organ first, or? Well, the whole band usually plays together, but I mean, I'll, I'll do an intro. Yeah, we'll, kind of, okay. then we'll, yeah, we'll trade off on an intro type okay. of thing. Yes, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good song. I'm a, uh, I love that song. Try to play to my best ability, you know. <laughs> Thank you. 
like what we're in there playing and is feeling good to us, but the the real anointing came in and really looked yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah bro. I mean? And, and you yeah. could tell and feel the difference in the room, even though we've been laughing and talking about God the whole time. It got special to us just oh, now. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. That, 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 was, that was the real thing. Yeah. You can't fake that. You right? can't fake it. You, you, you can yeah. practice you that. You can't learn right. that. You can't. No. You got to live it. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. You got to live that thing. You spend yep. all week or whatever time that you spend practicing, and it's the opportunity that you get to express a gift that God has given you, and everyone is at attention. Mm. Man, if that doesn't make you want to go back in the lab to be prepared, not because you want to be seen, mm. right? Not because you want to garner some other, you know, Facebook likes or you know, some other uh, you know, folks to like you, but because you understand your role is so important, the, 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 the porter or the usher doesn't get the same opportunity that you get to express that, you know, that talent. Mm -hmm. Does that ever come across? You know, you got, I, I'm yeah. sure it does, right? And it's an opportunity, but a responsibility. Never forget that. True. You are the driver. You got to drive. Yeah. And you, it's a responsibility you can make or break a service. Yeah. It's so important to be in tune with the move of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And that has zero, listen, people, that has zero to do with the notes themselves. Yeah. Sure. Right. Yeah. And everything to do with where your mind is at. Yeah. I mean, this, this all makes, it's, it's more impactful if, if, if you're trying to live what you're playing about. Absolutely. I mean, right? Yes, I mean, sir. Even if it's a struggle yeah. to, the attempt, I'm saying, to mm -hmm. And you truly really believe out. what you're saying. You're not just yeah. playing a song. Right. You, you believe right. that. You really believe passion, that God right. is the source of your strength. Right. Yeah. You're not just, you know what I'm saying? It is not just words. It's, right. uh, it means something. I, I call those yeah. private moments because, right, probably what you would share in your car you know, or with your family or, you know, your fears mm -hmm. or whatever with your loved one may not be the same thing you see with, you know, a morning service. Right, right. But some of the best times. Absolutely. I'm telling you, worship that I've had or times where I've really mm -hmm. looked at, or introspected to myself, man, is driving in the car by myself. Yeah. Or a long time. Absolutely. Because the one person that you can't lie to. Yourself. Yourself. Come on, nope. man. Mm -hmm. Front, fake, right? We can we can try and appear to be a lot of things to other people, but the one person that I know that I got to be true to, and that's where it starts, mm -hmm. and that's you know with me. I can't fool me because I've lived with me my entire life. Yep. Every and second. <laughs> my entire life. Mm -hmm. My entire life. <laughs> right, right. So, so 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 talk about those those times when you you know when you're rehearsing this song, you know when you're in that moment where. You're, Rehearsal no longer becomes rehearsal anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. that, ha that happen. happened to me one time with the what my quartet group, the Soul Seekers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, sir. Before we started rehearsal, I was just playing around, playing around, playing around. Then I ended up playing this hymn called "God, My God, What a Privilege It Is, What a Privilege It Is to Have You in My Life." Mm -hmm. I kept saying that over and over, and I'm playing. I was like, then my face started getting wet. And I'm just sitting there like, <laughs> all, but seriously, all the brothers in the group came in the room and they started praying around the organ and they was like, yeah. we all just had a moment because the me anointing, that, it got yeah, serious. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. wait a minute, me? Yeah. This is happening to me? <laughs> hold on, Jesus. <laughs> like, hold on. But it, literally, I was like, yeah. I was engulfed in, yeah. it is a privilege to have God in your life. Yeah. That's a privilege. God, God touches a place, man. I'm telling yeah. you that no other, I, I really do believe that's that no other um, person or thing is designed to encompass mm -hmm. or to take. I love mm -hmm. it because he's the only one that can, you know, fulfill that emptiness, you know, or that void. But, yeah. Man, what, what you guys do, man, music, and I can tell you, I just, you know, I'm, I'm a fan. You know, I'm, I'm in awe. You know, I, um, I'm inspired. You know, by it. And it doesn't just have to be the keys. I'm, man, I'm inspired. I see passing the brothers on bass and, you know, and drums, man, just going in, just like it was yeah. a sport. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, or if it were someone who was constructing a building or mm -hmm. an architect.
Yeah. That same type of passion, you know, has to be there. And uh, did you have that passion when you first started? I developed it as I lived. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I always loved the music. Yeah. yeah. But making that connection between the music itself and the heart, that takes time. Mm -hmm. And it takes life experiences, that takes ups, that takes downs. I ain't got nothing to do, they can't teach it at, at, at Juilliard. Um, mm -hmm. because that connection, it, it, because that's without the connection to what's in your heart, it's just notes and it ain't gonna reach nobody. And uh, you can analyze, people try to analyze music and, and they say, some say it's math, some say it's, but I think the closest thing to reality is, it really is what feelings sounds like. Mm -hmm. Wow. I think that's the closest explanation to. You just made a t-shirt, Eddie. Hey, music. for real, because I'm over here about yeah. it. <laughs> Print it. I saw that on Instagram a couple of days ago. Oh, did you? I saw that yeah. on Instagram. I said, yeah. Yeah. That's the closest explanation to what's real yeah. in terms of, yeah. It's not just notes. That's the, that's the first thing you got to realize. And music is not made to impress. It's made to be an expression from your heart. Yeah. It, it has to express what is within. Gotcha. And what you, your no, the notes that you choose has to be based on what, what, what spirit you want to, or what feel you want to convey. Yeah. Then the notes mm -hmm. are picked based on that. The chord structures are picked mm -hmm. based on that. And then as you progress, they affect each other in the interchangeably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The music affects your heart. The heart affects the music. And they keep switching. That's when you have tapped in the realm that is music beyond music. Music yeah. beyond the earthly realm. I mean, and I believe that's what God meant for it to be. I mean, it, that song has been around, right, yeah. by Mitch, Richard Smallwood yeah. for some time now, right? Classic. Yeah. And I, it doesn't get old for me. Never I mean, will. I could I could hear that song, you know, all the time. And I wonder when Richard was writing that song, was that the intent? Right. Right. You know, what what possibly does does a person go through before they write their greatest song? Hmm. Let me know, because I'm trying to write my greatest songs. <laughs> <laughs> I think the greatest songs ever written were lived first. Yeah. I think that experience, experience, experience yeah. creates the best songs. And it's, it's felt by the listener, you know. Right. Like, the, in those moments when you hear those songs, you can kind of, it kind of puts you in that same place to where you can kind of you know, feel where the writer was going with that. You can, mm. you know, you can identify you with it. You can identify with it, yes. yeah. And it, like, sometimes you'll even listen to a song, listen to a song, and it'll take you to a place. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Music is, music is far beyond just the, the listening portion of it. Yeah. You know, the feeling portion of music is like, it's immeasurable. Yeah. And I know within society, I mean, music has been used for, you know, all types of things, mm -hmm. whether they be good or, you know, good or bad. But, you know, in this case, I, you know, I, you guys are preaching to the choir, man. And when you, when you not just hear great music, but when you hear the passion behind it, the person's mm -hmm. connected to the lyrics because circumstantially something's going on that's, mm -hmm. that's got me dialed in, man. Um, it's almost like God smiles in the fact that <clears throat> you're interpreting this the right way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're saying it the way that this person in the audience can. Yeah. Can, it's can so it. much going on. Yeah. Yeah. It is so much going on. Yeah, the music is coming from God into you, yeah. out to the people, and then back into your ears. That loop by itself. Yes, sir. <laughs> it is it is crazy. Mm -hmm. yep. It is crazy. And it doesn't happen without putting time in in the yeah. lab. Yeah. yeah. Gotta pay it. Because he can't trust you with I mean I would think maybe that's a bad analogy. No, it's, I think yeah. it's perfect. I can't trust yeah. you with it if yeah. you haven't put time to nope. you know, your craft. Yeah. yeah. And you can tell when people have or haven't practiced or tried mm -hmm. to get their craft to the next level. You can hear it. 
Mm. And you can see it. Yeah. You can see it actually more than here sometimes. Yes, sir. Just because of the character. Yeah. And that counts almost as much as the best chord or the best drawbar setting or the best keyboard. Yeah. Your character matters yeah. just as much as your plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yes, when sir. you have a great character and you can play like Eddie, yeah. it's, it's almost unfair. But yeah. when my friend, one of my friends doesn't play music at all. He heard Eddie play and was like, that guy's going to heaven. He for oh sure made it Lord. in. He's he like, he's going it. to heaven. But he saw he liked Eddie as a person already, the character. But then when he saw him play, he was like, what? Right this dude there. play? Oh, he's going to heaven. It's infectious, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And he's not, not he's not a guy to talk that way. So right. it really meant something. <laughs> <laughs> We were, we were at uh, doing the tweet sessions. I remember. I remember like yesterday. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. And Joe Busby was there that night. That guy mm -hmm. is going to heaven. <laughs> I remember that. Wow. That's excellent, man. That's excellent. <sighs> wow. That, I, man, I But your character, about that. your character stood out that much yeah. to him before yeah. he even played the instrument. Yeah. He already loved the character he right. was. Well, sometimes yeah. that, that, I think for a while there, you know, that kind of was lost. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, the character piece of mm -hmm. about life and, you know, of course, you know, attending church, being a part of, you know, this ministry, that ministry. I think some part of that or, or there's a fight with that mm -hmm. to to truly live this thing, you know, to live it out, mm -hmm. you know, without trying to overdo it. Yeah. But then also not trying to underplay myself. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, either if, if everyone else can make bold statements yeah. on social media about who they are what they've done, then why can't I make that same bold statement that I'm a man who loves God yeah. and Absolutely. that still be right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and not be weird about it, not, you know, mm -hmm. not speak in tongues every time you, you see me, which I'm, I'm okay with you folks who are super <laughs> spiritual, but yeah. I ain't that, but I'm ain't not that right. super. And sometimes yeah. I got to come down off of, right, yeah. that yeah. cloud and say, hey, Eddie, how you doing, man? Absolutely. How's the family, bro? Yes, yeah. normalcy. Greg, yeah. what's hey, what's going on over at, the, at the Pop Warner game? I know your yeah. little nephew playing. Yes, yeah. there is. Life. Absolutely, life. Hey, man, the price of groceries went up over at State of Brothers, brother. Uh, Didn't they? You know? <laughs> Literally did, though. <laughs> right, right, right. For real.